Hey kids, uh, today I am playing a game called The Kopzenski Building? I guess? I don't know. So, this is a game about a building. Um, well, I design buildings for a living, so this should be fun for me. Um, it's quite a nice little title screen. Um, the background seems a little bit busier than the logo, and I'm not too sure about this font, but other than that, it looks quite interesting. Let's uh, try clicking Start Game. Um, so, this gives us a big button with one written on it, so I'll try pressing that. Okay, um, so, the goal of the game is to explore all the rooms squares. Use arrow keys to choose a direction, and C to confirm execute. Okay. Uh, go that way. I win. Okay, that was very difficult, but somehow I I pulled through. Um, uh, the numbers are a little bit difficult to read against that background, but I can just about manage. Uh, okay, so that was level one, I guess. Now let's try out level two. Rooms take time, which is shown on each room to explore. Rooms of the same colour take half time. Rooms of the opposing colour, see above, take double time. Uh, so I assume that means the colour of the person you're playing. So at the moment I'm this blue guy. Um, okay. So rooms of the same colour take half the time. Okay. Then rooms of the opposing colour take double the time. Okay. I guess. Hmm. Right, okay. This and the rest of the stages have three characters to control. Aha! Okay. The plot thickens. Use X to switch to between characters. Uh, I assume that means to switch between characters and then hit C to have them execute the orders. Right, okay, so... X... Okay, so, oops. Okay. Seems a little bit unwieldy, but okay. Uh, right, so the red guy's finished, I guess. Hitting C, I guess. Okay. Ah, number four has a different colour background. This is exciting. This is the first real level. At the top left, you have the total time taken so far. Your score is based on how much time you take weighted by the difficulty of the map, which is based on the number of squares and the timers in the room. Okay, so I guess this is kind of like a uh, a sort of pathing exercise where I have to find the most efficient way of exploring all the rooms. So I kind of want the blue guy to go that way. Uh, he can go that way. The red guy can go up there. Uh, so he can go up there again. He can go around there down there. Okay, the red guy can go over that way. We'll get him to try and go around the other side and get those blue ones. Seems a little bit unwieldy, if I'm honest. Uh, okay, so the green guy wants to go that way. The red guy can go over there. And the blue guy can stay where he is, I guess. Is the blue guy doing anything? Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Um, Red guy, I want to go up there. Oops, shit. Press the wrong button there. It's 
quite easy to press the wrong button and then waste a turn. Um, so that's what we want. We want him to go that way and then down there. Um, so why is that blue guy been sitting there? And nothing's happened. Okay. So now that's finished. All right then. Number five. Right. Okay. So now I have to do it with a lot more squares. Oops. Press the wrong button again. Um. Okay. So this is sort of like a pathing challenge, but I don't know. It seems like. It's, I don't really see where the fun comes in, if I'm totally honest. Um, you individually set these guys moving each time. Um, and try and come up with an optimum path, presumably. But then, okay, so the red guy goes double on green. Green guy goes double on blue, so yeah, I kind of screwed that up, but okay. Uh, so we want him to go down there. What the fuck? Um, okay, not too sure what happened there. He seemed to jump through everything. Uh, maybe that was a bug. Uh, except now, whoa. Okay, so the blue guy's gone to the bottom of the screen, but it still seems to think that he's on that red one. Cause like, what? What the? Um, I don't really know what's happening. It doesn't seem to want to let me do anything. It seems to have kind of. I can't seem to select anybody. I can only go in that one direction. It won't actually let me move. So, I think maybe the game's crashed, I don't know. Um, the blue guy seems totally screwed. Can I get him to go up there? But then the green guy moves... Um, hmm. uh, still can't select the blue guy, which I'm guessing is a bug, I don't know. If there are other things going on then it seems like um okay I didn't mean to do that. Okay that room just explored itself without my green guy being on it. So um okay and he's just gone all the way to the top. Uh and I'm accidentally moving this guy but I don't really want to. Uh there a way that doesn't seem to be any way of cancelling a move once you've selected it, which is uh, kind of a problem. Um, okay, so those guys seem to be stuck. So I can only move the red guy. So I guess he's going to have to explore all the rest of the rooms. Um, so I'm guessing that this game's bugged out on me but I kind of don't really know. It might be some kind of hidden mechanic, but if so, it seems a bit strange that the other ones are explained and that isn't. Um, okay. Right. Okay, so there. We've done it. Okay, so... Ugh. Well... Hmm. Let's try and sum up, shall we? I don't really get the game aspect of this at the moment. It seems like it's asking you to solve a problem, 
but it's not a particularly interesting problem if I'm perfectly honest um, and I don't really see how it wouldn't be mechanically solvable I mean you could just write an A star algorithm to do this game for you um, and that I think is kind of a sign of a game that needs a little bit more in the way of mechanics like it needs to have something else in there that will prevent you from doing it I mean it doesn't seem like there's even a time limit because I kind of screwed up that last level albeit because of what I think were bugs and it didn't really seem to penalize me at all so there needs to be something that makes this game not an immediately solvable problem I think there needs to be some kind of balancing mechanism that actually lets you make interesting decisions um, also the controls seem to be a bit of a pain in the ass if I'm honest um, having to set each character's move individually is sort of annoying um, I think what might maybe work better is rather than switching between characters manually and then having to set a direction and then setting another one if it just automatically switched between the different characters and had you then press just one of the arrow keys and then it would that would be the move for that character and it could go on for the next one um, so I think I'm going to stop there maybe it gets more interesting later on I don't know um, but yeah I think it needs a little bit more work in terms of um, solving bugs and things um, I can't say that uh, the gameplay at this stage is good enough for me to want to overcome that um, but still it could uh, maybe become something interesting um, I kind of like the controlling multiple characters ideas, I think it just needs a stronger um, central mechanic rather than just, you know, how long you have to wait to explore a room. Um, I think there needs to be something more to it. Um, but yeah, the on the plus side, I quite like the graphics. Um, it seems like the character graphics don't really match the background ones very well. Um, but individually they're not too bad. Oops, I just scrolled the whole window, that's silly. Um yeah, okay. Uh see you next time guys.